Good morning. As we enter into worship on this morning, the song simply says, the sun is going to shine if I just hold out. And in the song, it says, so many nights I cried for better days I prayed for. And I'm pretty sure in the times that we're in, that we're all praying for better days. Hallelujah. But through it all, I know Hallelujah. that the sun is going to shine yes. Hallelujah. if I just hold out. Come on, just lift your hands and worship on this morning. We love you, oh God. We worship you for who you are. You are, an, you are an awesome God. Come on, y'all. Lift your voice and say, so many nights. So many nights. I've cried. I've cried. Come on, say four better days. Four better days. I pray for. I pray for. Come on, say, but through it all. But through it all. I know. I know. Come on, tell them what you know. The sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out. If I hold out, come on, the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out, if I hold out, come on, let's say it again. Hallelujah. Let's say so many nights. So many nights. I've cried. I've cried. Yes, hallelujah. For better days. For better days, I prayed for. I prayed for. But through it all, but through it all, I know, I know. The sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna shine. If I hold out, if I hold out. The sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out. If I hold out. Come on, the second verse. Sometimes I feel. Sometimes I feel. Alone. Alone. No one around. No one around. To call on. To call on. Come on, say, I must endure. I must endure. For I know. For I know. Say, the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out. If I hold out. Hallelujah. The sun is going to shine. The sun is gonna shine. I don't know who this song is for. If I hold out. If I hold out. Come on, let's say it again. Lift your voice and say, sometimes I feel. Sometimes I feel. Alone. Alone. Anybody ever felt that way? Hallelujah. No one around. No one around. To call on. To call on. I must endure. I must endure. For I know. For I know. Come on, say the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out. If I hold out. The sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out. If I hold out. Come on, let's take it on out. Well, let's say weep in May and do it for a night. Weep in May and do it for a night. Hallelujah. Joy comes in the morning. Trouble don't last always. Come on. Joy comes. Joy comes. Come 
on, say, just wait. Just wait. Till the morning. Till the morning. I won't let go. I won't let go. Of my faith. Of my faith. The sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out. If I hold out. The sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out. If I hold out. Let's see that second verse again. Come on, say, sometimes I feel. Sometimes I feel. Alone. Alone. No one around, no one around to call on, to call on. I must endure, I must endure, for I know, for I know. Come on, lift your voice and say, the sun is going to shine, the sun is going to shine. If I hold out, if, if I, I hold out. out. The sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out. If I hold out. Come on, lift your voice and say, weeping may endure for a night. Weeping may endure for a night. Come on, say, trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last. Come on, say joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Come on, say just wait. Just wait till the morning. I won't let go. I won't let go of my faith. Of my faith. Come on, say, the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out, if I hold out. Come on, say, the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. If I hold out, if I hold out. Come on, say it again. Come on, say, weeping may endure for a night. Come on, say, trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Come on, say, joy comes. Joy comes in the morning. Come on, say, just wait. Just wait. I won't let go. I won't let go of my faith. Of my faith. Come on, say the sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna Come shine. Come on, let's keep it right there. Come on, say the sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, say the sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, say the sun is gonna shine. The sun Come on, let's break it off. Come on, say the sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, say the sun. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, all you gotta do is just hold on. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, come on, say the sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, come on, say the sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna shine. Anybody believe that the sun is gonna shine? The sun is gonna shine. Yes, it is, baby. The sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, say the sun. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, say the sun is gonna shine. The sun. Come on, say the sun. The sun is gonna shine. 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 The sun. Come on, say the sun, the sun is gonna shine. 
Come on, say the sun, yeah. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, just keep holding on. The sun is gonna shine. Hold on to God's sun changing and the sun is gonna shine. You must endure to the end, yes. This race is not given to the swift nor the strong. But it's given to the one that can endure it until the end. So whatever you may be going through on this morning, you ought to lift up your voice and say the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. Yes, it is. The sun, the sun is going to shine. The sun. Oh, say the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. Come on, if I hold out. If I hold out. Come on, say the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. Come on, say the sun is going to shine. The sun is going to shine. I can see the sun peeping through the cloud, yeah. The sun. Even though my days may seem gleary and gloomy, Lord, I trust you and I take you at your word. Yes, I do. That even though the winds may blow and the sea billows may roll, I know that I'm anchored in you, God. I know that I'm anchored in you, God. Yes, I am. The sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna shine. Come on, say the sun is gonna shine. The sun is gonna shine. If I hold out, if I hold out, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful choir. Beautiful. The sun is gonna shine. If I hold out. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, let's give our, our choir a big hand. And what I like about our choir is in the midst of this pandemic, they are ministering. It's people suffering and going through this and going through that, and they're letting them know that the sun is going to shine. If we just hold out. See, somebody heard that choir. I won't let go. Maybe somebody from any of y'all. Maybe somebody in YouTube land. But whether it's from Antioch or in YouTube land, I truly believe that somebody needs that in. They hear that. The sun is going to shine. If we just hold out. Glory, hallelujah. The Bible says, as long as the earth remains, springtime and harvest, his sun shine on the just and the unjust. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. And just, just on the other day, we were talking about the glory of God. And we were discussing how that sun shine every day. And never have anybody had to change the light. You know, we, we understand that we have lights in our home. And oftentimes we have to change them. But you know, when God said, let there be light, there was just light. They didn't have to go 
and, and, and put anything together. They didn't have to get a building permit. He just said, let there be light. And the sun been shining bright ever since. But I reflect on another sun. Not, not the X, not the S U N, but the S O N. Don't he shine in our lives? Oh, don't he shine in our life? Songs say weeping may endure for a night, but the sun, the S O N, said joy, joy, joy will come in the morning. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you. We lift you up because you lifted, you lifted us up. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, it's the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. Magnify him. Thank him. He's worthy. He's worthy. Glory, hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, choir. For letting us know that the S-O-N is going to shine in our lives if we just hold out. Weeping may endure but the night. But joy Coming in the morning. Nobody told me. Lift them, lift them. Lift them, lift them. I don't feel no waste. I've come too far from where I started. Do you remember where you started from? from? Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. And I don't believe he brought me this far to lead me. Don't believe it. Nobody told me. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. I don't believe it. He brought me this far to leave me. Glory, hallelujah. One more time, say nobody told me. Nobody told me that the road would be there. And I don't believe he brought me this far. I don't. 
I don't believe it. No, no, no. No, no, I don't believe it. We can say to the year 2020, I don't believe he brought me this far. Say, I don't believe. I don't believe. Me. Say, I don't believe. Hey, say, nobody told me. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. And I don't believe he's brought me this Glory, hallelujah. What appropriate. What an appropriate song to sing in 2020. No matter what's going on in the White House. No matter what this coronavirus brings. Nobody told me. The Bible didn't tell me that. That the road would be easy. But I don't believe. He brought me this far. To lead me. And let's put some, let's put some word on that. He said I will never. Leave you not forsake you. Let's put some word on that. He said, if I be for you, who or what can be against you? I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Yeah, he said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. Let's put some word on it. We got angels and kept all around us. Let's put some word on it. It's a reason why we don't believe he brought us this far. Just trust him. Trust him. Well, let's put some word on it. Trust the Lord. Trust in the Lord. And lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and watch him direct your path. I don't believe it. I don't believe he brought me this far to lead me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, that's why it ain't nothing like worship in the house of God. It ain't nothing like worship in the house of God. That's why David said, David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Anybody glad to be here? See, like David, like David, it was a time when he couldn't go into the house of God. It was a time when we couldn't come into the house of God. But I can say like David, I'm glad 
I'm glad to be able to come into the house of God. We give God glory. We give God glory. We give God glory. And we thank God for all that you do, Antioch. Again, remember on this coming Saturday, this Saturday, we will be preparing, we will be, we the, the ministry, the pastors and the deacons will be preparing for you to come in fellowship while we cook hamburgers, hot dogs, and the chips, drinks. It's not just for Antioch, it's for all, the, all our community. And we just want to be a blessing to you. We just want to serve you. So looking forward to a high time on Saturday. Also, we want to thank Deacon Gunnell for always taking care of the things that is around the house of God. We give God glory for you. I want to say thank you. Saying thanks. doesn't seem like enough to show how much your occurring and thoughtfulness have meant. Pastor Todd Lanston, thank you on behalf of the Hughley family for your prayers and contribution during the time of the passing of our loved one, Miss Dolores Faye Hughley. We would like to thank the entire congregation for your prayers calls and support during this time. It has been greatly appreciated. But though the words are simple, hope you know how much warmth and appreciation come from, come with them. Sincerely, the Hughley family. Hallelujah. To God glory. Just want to thank you. The pastor, first lady, and my Antioch family, how can I express in my heart my feelings toward you all? Thank you. Just do not seem enough. Your prayers, telephone calls, and other acts of kindness are deeply appreciated. Love always the Rogers and the Evans family. And ask the Lord to shower you with his blessings. Sister Penny Evans, home going of Sister Jessie Mac Robertson. Give God glory for the Evans and Hughley family. We thank God for Antioch. All those have lost a loved one, and those that on the sick and shed in. We really been praying, and we've been going to God on your behalf. And I know all of Antioch, uh, if not all, we of Antioch have been praying on your behalf. So to God be the glory and we thank God for preparing a place for us. Our lesson today is going to come from the book of Acts. Acts, and we may be in Acts a while. like to get in the word, not just to preach it, so we can understand and learn the word. See what the book is talking about. Instead of going from here to there to here to there, and we want to really get the impact of what God is saying in his word. Acts chapter 1, Acts chapter 1, going to read in your hearing, going to teach from 1 through 11. Acts chapter 1, starting at verse 1. And it reads, the former treaties have I made, O Theopolis, of all that Jesus begun both to do and teach unto the day in which he was taken up 
after that he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles who he had chosen, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of things pertaining to the kingdom of God, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, ye have heard of me. It's going to use for a subject the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. The dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Father, once again, we come in the name of Jesus just to say thank you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your mercy, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that weeping don't last always. We thank you for that today, Lord. That we thank you for knowing that joy comes in the morning, Lord. So we just come to give you glory, asking as I decrease, that you increase mightily. That the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be, a, be acceptable in thy sight. Lord, you are my strength, and you are my redeemer. Ask you to bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So give honor once again to minister in our presence. We always want to get the house in order, and you always are welcome to the pulpit. You know, we like to do some teaching and preaching. And you really ain't preaching if you ain't teaching, and you ain't, ain't, ain't teaching if you ain't preaching. Amen. Not in the pulpit where we preaching what thus said the Lord. Again, the subject is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Yes, we really need to, to get into these things because we're in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. We are in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. What do you mean dispensation of the Holy Spirit? Well, in the old covenant, you heard about God. God, you really didn't hardly hear a whole lot about whole lot about Jesus. You heard about the coming of Jesus. Yes, sir. Well, in the new, we seen Jesus coming. John said that he he saw him coming, and John baptized him. But Jesus died. Jesus, Jesus died. And, and, and when, when Jesus died, he said he would not leave you comfortless. What Jesus was saying was, I'm going to be with the Father. He said, I'm going to send you another comforter. And we, we really got to know who that comforter is. Because Jesus is our intercessor right now. We, we pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. But we don't cry, Lord Jesus, lead me. That's, that's the job of the Holy Spirit. At this time, and, and we, got, we got to understand so, so that when we, we are crying to the Lord, we're operating properly. We're calling on the right one at the right time. We're calling on the right one at the right time. Now, now, now Jesus is God, the Son. God is God the Father, and the Holy Spirit is God the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Want, want us to understand this. Want us to understand this. Now, in theology, not the theological, but theology, what is theology? Theology is the study of the nature of God concerning religious belief. That's what theology is. T h e o l o g y, theology. It, 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 it's the study of the nature of God, and the only way you're gonna study the nature of God, somebody gotta go in the Word. So, somebody gotta go in the Word, and the Bible says, "Study to show yourself approved, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of truth." So in theology. One meaning of the term dispensation is distinct. It's a, it's a distinct arrangement of the period in history that formed the frame through which God relates to mankind. Uh -huh. You say that's a, that's a whole lot. Well, let me break it down to you. 
Because like I say, it should never go over your head if I teach it. I'm going to teach it where you can understand it like a baby. So I'm going to read that again, all these big words. And in, in one meaning of the term dispensation, we are in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit, is, the dis is a distinct arrangement of a period in history that forms the framework through which God relates to mankind. So when he is saying dispensation, he just talking about the time. Yes, this is the time of the Holy Spirit. Clear, it's the time of the Holy Spirit. Yes, so when I pray, I pray to the Father in the name of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. Because this is the time of the Holy Spirit. This is the time of the Holy Spirit. As we go to the message, we see the former treaty help I made, O Theophilus. This is, this is Luke talking of that Jesus began to do and teach. He's teaching him about what Jesus began to do, what he began to do. Now, Theophilus, nobody don't know exactly who he is, but they know what Theophilus means. The name Theophilus means loved of God. In, in the biblical days, it meant something. Your name meant something in the biblical days. So it means love to God. But it carries the idea of a friend of God. So we see Luke talking to this man that, that no doubt was loved of God and that was a friend of God, but he didn't know too much about Jesus. So he, he said, I'm, I'm going to teach you about Jesus, uh -huh. what he began to do. I'm going to teach you about the Savior. Yes, he said, until the day in which he was taken up, I'm going to teach you from the beginning, even to the time that he was taken up in glory. I'm going to teach you about the cross then. Yes. I, I'm going to teach you about his death, his, his burial, yes. and his resurrection. I'm going to teach you, and, and I'm going to write it in a book. It's after through the Holy, Holy Ghost had given commandment unto the apostles whom he had chosen. After through, after through. When Jesus was on earth, he operated in the power of the Holy Ghost. Good God Almighty. Because he was all man, and he was all God. That's the reason why he said, it's okay to blaspheme the Son of Man. But Jesus even said, blaspheme in the Holy Ghost. If you do that, you can't even be forgiven. Look at the respect Jesus put on that name. When are we going to put some respect on the name of the Holy Ghost? Jesus put respect on that name. Good God Almighty. He said, you can blaspheme me. He said, you can even blaspheme God. But blaspheming the Holy Ghost, you can't even be forgiven for that. So that ought to let us know that we got to put some respect on that name. He, he, he on earth, when Jesus walked, when he healed, when he did miracles, he did it through the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Bible says that through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles who he had chosen. He gave them commandments before he went to be with the Father. He gave them commandments. He said, to whom, to whom, to whom, to whom, to whom, to whom also he shewed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs, being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. He gave them commandments. Mm, mm, mm. Mark, Mark 16 and 15 through 19, the Bible said, and said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. 
He that believeth is baptized and shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. When are we going to tell people, if you don't believe, you're going to be damned? Because that's what Jesus told us to tell them. We too kind when it comes to telling people what we need to tell them. Yeah, we need to be kind, we need to be nice, but when it comes to the will of God, we got to be strong. People look you straight in the, in the eye and say, I don't believe. Well, he that believeth not will be down. He that be, believeth not will have their place in hell and ultimately in a lake of fire. We're living in the last days. It's time out for playing. It's time out for being nice when it comes to this subject. If you don't believe, you shall be damned. That's what Jesus told him to tell him. Through the power of the Holy Ghost, he said, tell him. Too loose with that. I don't believe in Jesus. Then you will be damned. Then shake the dust off your feet and walk away. Because it's not up for conversation. It's not up for that. Jesus said it. And that's just it. It goes on and says, and these signs shall follow me, follow them that believe in my name, shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So then, after the Lord had spoken unto them, he was, he was received up into heaven and sat at the right hand of God. So he said these things. And I know some people are saying, well, 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 why ain't? I doing that. He said these things were they. You need to go to, to 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and see what happens through the Holy Spirit. He gave some yes, the power of healing. See, see, the word speaks for itself. He didn't give all the power of healing. He gave some the power to speak in tongues. He didn't give everybody the power to speak in tongues. Just go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. That's the reason why you can't be taught how to speak in tongues, because everybody don't have the spirit. Just go to the, go to the Word. Can't teach nobody how to speak in tongues. Everybody don't have the spirit. If you don't believe me, go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. He gave some the power to lay hands on you or me, and you shall be healed. He gave some. He gave some everything in the body that's needed. He gave some. Uh -huh. Lord, I see y'all looking at me. Y'all going to make me go to 1 Corinthians. Y'all going to make me go to 1 Corinthians. I keep on telling you that this is the word of God. It's not the word of Todd. But it's the word of God. See, 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 we want to listen to what men say. And, and then when somebody brings you truth, you get mad. You get mad because somebody brings you truth. But you want to you listen to what men say. I'm going to start at verse 6 of 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit of the Spirit giveth to every man to profit with all. For to one is given the Spirit by the Spirit, the word of wisdom. Word of wisdom. That because he give it to you separately. That's one of one of the, 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 the gifts that he has given me, the word of wisdom. I operate through the wisdom of God. To another, the word of knowledge by the same spirit. To another faith by the same spirit, to another the gift of healing, by the same spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, 
and to another, to another discerning of the spirit. That's another one that I have. To another, the diverse kinds of tongue. To another, the interpretation of tongue. And that's why we got to be careful because, and I'm just going to tell you, when we, and I, I'm not saying when the spirit is all over you, don't speak in tongue. But if you speak in tongue, you are supposed to have an interpreter. You're supposed to have an interpreter. I, again, I know you, you might not be able to hear, it, hear this, but this is the word of God. Paul said he'd rather speak in heaven words. One word with knowledge. Two words with knowledge. Then a thousand, thousands of words in tongue without understanding. That's what he said. That's what he said. That's what the Bible says that he says. He says again, he says, but all these workers that, that one and the self same spirit divide into every man severally, severally as he will. He give us severally different gifts. But he don't give us every gift. He don't give. So when we read this word, yeah, it's true. He gave these gifts. And some have every gift today. Oh, we get God glory. Amen. We get God glory for his word because his word is true. One thing we got to understand is that his word is true. It, it, it's true. It, it, they, say, they, say, they say, well, we, we got this church that, just this snake handling church because God, God, said, God said that uh, he going to give you the power to take up serpents. That's going to be one of the sins. What did he send them to do? He sent them in all the world to preach the gospel. And, and, and they didn't have no highway. They didn't have cities with cars and it's nice and the road cleaners. They had to go through bushes and weeds. What God was saying, where I send you to, ain't nothing going to stop you. They'll see you taking up a serpent. Ain't nothing going to stop you. Well, Paul, as he was tending to the fire, God had told him he must go to Rome. He didn't tell him how he was going to get there, but you got to preach in Rome. And a serpent came out of the fire and locked hold on him. A venomous serpent. And the people of that, that, that land, they knew that he was, they thought that he was going to fall down dead. And they watched him because they seen this serpent. And he just lifted up and shook it right off in the fire. That's what the Bible is saying. He shook it right off in the fire. And they looked on him. And they looked on him and they seen it wasn't no hurt. And they say, this must be. Then, 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 the Bible say, for a testimony to me, this must be a child of God. What God is saying, ain't nothing going to stop you from, achieve, from achieving the goal that I sent you to achieve. Ain't nothing going to stop you. Ain't, ain't nothing going to stop you. If I be for you, who or what can be against you? So, so we, we see, we see that, 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 again, the Bible says, to whom also he showed himself after his passion by many infallible proofs. Talking about when he resurrected. He showed himself first to the women. After the seventh day, they went to the tomb to, to anoint his body, and the angel was there. Yes, sir. He said, go. He goes to Galilee. Go tell Peter. And as they were going to Peter, Jesus appeared. And Mary Magdalene wanted to touch him. She, she saw him after the resurrection. Not only that, it, it was two men on their way to emerge, 
to a mass. They was on their way to a, to a mass. And they were just walking. And as they walked, Jesus appeared and was walking with them. He was walking with them. Not only that, Paul let us know in 1 Corinthians 15 and 6 that 500 men at once saw Jesus after the resurrection. And he said strongly, and if you don't believe me, many of them, many of them that saw him is still alive. He said they were still alive at that time. So he showed himself without a shadow of a doubt. The disciples one day were fishing. They were fishing. Didn't catch nothing. This is after the resurrection. And Jesus says, launch out into the deep. And, it, and, and, and the net was filled and they came to the bank, to the shore. And Jesus was already there with fish, preparing a meal. He said, again, I'm going to make you fishers of men. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No doubt, Paul is saying that he resurrected. Peter one time said, he, he, he said, I handled him. I touched him of the word of God. Peter would say, you can't tell me that he ain't real. Because I handled him. I touched him of the word of God. Well, I can say to you today, I never handled him. I never touched him. But he handled me. He handled me. Did he handle you? And not only did he handle me, he handled the things that I needed him to handle. He, he handled the things that you need and, and you needed him to handle. Have you ever handled something for you? I, I might have not touched him with my natural hand, but with, 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 with his spiritual hand, he touched me. And, and the songwriter said, oh, the joy that filled my soul. Something happened. Good God Almighty. And now I know he touched me. Oh, I give him glory. Oh, I give him praise. Because I know. I don't care what anybody else say. I know he touched me. Good God Almighty. He touched me. I know he supplied all my needs. According to his riches and glory. I know I can call on them late in the midnight hour. I know. I know he's real. I know he's real. He's real in my soul. And what is my proof? What is your proof? He changed me. He changed me. War a change have come over me. Good God Almighty. I know he changed me. I know he changed me. I know he changed me. I don't have to look in the mirror to, to see where he brought me from. I know where he brought me from. And I thank him every day. He's good. He's good. I know he's good. I know he's good. He's my savior. He's my all in all. He's my hope. He's my joy. He's my peace. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. I know he lives. I know he lives. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. 
He's a wonder. He's a wonder in my soul. Glory, hallelujah. They showed himself by many infallible proofs. It's infallible proof that I've been born again. I've been born again. Had you been born again? Had you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, he's a good God. He's a good God. He's a good God. He's a good God. They showed himself. Showed himself. After the resurrection. And he continued to show himself. From spirit to spirit. He continued to show himself. Good God Almighty. What a mighty God we serve. He'll give you that peace that surpasses all understanding. I'm talking about he really will. Have you ever, ever been going through something? And it had you down to the point where it, it almost took you out. Yes, some people in the body of Christ that contemplated suicide. But God, but God, in a lick of time, in the midst of your trouble, he showed up, he showed up, and when you look back over your life, you know he's real, you know he's real, you know he's real in your soul. Infallible proof. That's why I give him glory. I wasn't going toward the cross. I wasn't even headed toward the cross. That's why I give him glory. He stepped in the midst of my issues. And now I know that many that are led by the Spirit, they are the children of God. He led you and he led me. That's why we magnify him. We know where he brought us from. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Says, in being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which said he, ye have heard of me. Good God. He said, you don't heard this of me. Wait for that same promise that you have heard of me. I don't talk to you about the promise. So that's the reason why we have to teach our children. We have to teach our children about Christ, about Christ and the things of God, about the Holy Spirit, about God. Why? Because when they get in trouble, they don't heard it of you. They don't heard it of you. They know where to turn. They know who to turn to because they don't heard it from you. Bible says, wait for the promise that you heard from me. In John, John 14 and 18, in John 14 and 18, he said, I will not leave you comfortless, but I will come. I will come. And this is what he was walking with. You don't heard of Jesus. In John 14 and 26, he said, but the comforter. See, you don't heard of this Holy Spirit that I'm telling you to wait for, which is the Holy Ghost. Whom the Father will send in my name. He shall teach you all things and, and bring all things back to your remembrance whatsoever I told you. Didn't I tell you this is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit? And God said, the comforter. He said, I, I go to be with the Father. I got to go. But I'm not going to leave you comfortless. I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit. Address him as God, the Holy Spirit. Address him as God. The Holy Spirit. He's our comforter. He's the one that's working on our behalf. He's the one that leads us and guides us and directs our path. He's our comforter. He's the one that teaches all things. He teaches all truth. He's our comforter. So he proceeded from the Father. 
Because he is God the Father. And he shall testify of me. He come to testify of me. He come to testify that Jesus went to the cross and died for the sins of the world. That's what he come to testify of. That, that on that third day, God rose him from the grave. And now he's sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for me and you. This is who Jesus is talking about. He said, I came to die. That's what Jesus said. I, I came to die. Yeah, I came to, to go to that cross, die for the sins of the world, and on the third day be rose. I finished my course. Didn't you hear God say? This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. I, I finished it. Now I've got to go back to my rightful place. Sitting at the right hand of the Father. But I'm going to send you a comforter. John 15 and 26 says, But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you, from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. John uh, 14, 26 said, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things back to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you, he'll do it. Oh, when you're in trouble, don't think it was a happenstance. That God put that in your spirit. It was the Holy Ghost bringing it back to your remembrance. When you're down and out and you're sobbing, you're whining and crying. And then in your spirit, you hear God saying that I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's the Holy Ghost. Bringing it back to your remembrance when you're down and out. And, 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 and you are all confused. And your mind ain't regulated. It's confusion all in your mind. He'll let you know if I be for you, who can be against you? He's strong enough to break through all your mess and speak into your spirit. And let you know that God loves you. And that you are a child of the king. Oh, yes, that's what he does. That's the reason why we got to give him glory. It's the dispensation. It's time of the Holy Spirit. Ask him to lead you. When you pray, ask the Holy Spirit to lead you. Lead me, Holy Spirit. Ask him to guide you. Guide me, Holy Spirit. Don't you know that's what that's his operation? His operation is to lead you, to guide you, to direct you. We gotta know. We gotta know the dispensation. And we gotta know that this is the time of the Holy Spirit leading us, guiding us, and directing us into our truth. Oh, many times I said, Lord, Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way in my life, Holy Spirit. Have your way in my life, Holy Spirit. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Many times I say, have your way, Holy Spirit. And he's a he. He's intelligent. He know where we need to be led to. He know where we meet, where we need to be guided to. And he know that the truth going ultimately is going to ultimately prevail. He knows that it's going to ultimately prevail. No matter what we see in this world, what's going on in this world, the truth going to ultimately prevail. But Jesus is the way. He's the truth, and He's the life. 
Oh, we give him glory. We give him glory. We give you glory, Lord Holy Spirit. We give you glory. He says, he says, he says, he says, wait, 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 wait on that promise. Wait on that promise. Wait, wait on that promise. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Good God Almighty. Now he's talking now about the Holy Spirit in all flesh. Holy Spirit has always been around. He's, in, he's God. He's in the beginning. In, in the days of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he was around. But he wasn't in our flesh. He wasn't in our flesh. But he's talking about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And he, he said, wait on it, because you remember, you remember, you remember, even the disciples experienced the Holy Spirit. But this Holy Spirit that he's talking about, he's going to be in them. They was, they, see, Jesus, he said, as long as he was in the world, he was the comforter. He was the comforter as long as he was in the world. So, so they were operating up under the comfort of Jesus Christ. But, 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 but now. But now. You're operating up under the comfort of the Holy Spirit. And you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And he's going to stay with you. He's going to stay with you. Grieve not the Holy Spirit, whereby you are sealed. You are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of your inheritance unto the day of Jesus Christ, unto the day that he come back. So he'll be with you even unto the day that he come back. Good God Almighty. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Know who he is. Know who he is. Put some respect on that name. Put some respect on that name. God the Holy Spirit. He says here, he says, he says here. He says, wait on that promise. For John truly baptized with water. See, John just baptized to... to with water to repentance. Repent so the way will be prepared for Christ. I have repented so when Jesus come then I can accept. Repent. He didn't have no power to save his baptism. And that, that tell you also the baptism don't save you because those that were baptized by John they was not saved. They just repented and it, their, their heart was was ready to receive. He was ready to see, receive Christ. But this baptism that he's talking about is going to come on the day of Pentecost. We ain't got there yet. It's going to come on the day of Pentecost. He says here in verse 6, in verse 6, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, Will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? It's two things that a Christian should never do. That he give them all of this, all of this meat. And they say, when are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? Two things the believers should never do. Number one, Loses focus on what his purpose is, and that is to serve God. That's number one. Lose your focus on what your purpose is, what your mission is, as you will. That is to serve God. And number two, focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Those are two things that the believer should never do. Not about me. It's not about you. It's about doing the will of God. All of this meat, and they worrying about when he can restore the kingdom of Israel. Verse 7 says, and he says to them, it is not for you. It is not for you to know the time or the season which the Father has put in his own hand. And he had already told them that. 
He said, not for you to know. Really not your business. Or just stay in your own lane. Stay in your own lane. He said, it ain't your business. He had already told him. He told him in Matthew 24, 36. But at the time and the season, no man know. Not the angels. Not the angels of heaven, but the Father only. He had already told them, and they still worrying about when are you going to restore the kingdom? When are you going to restore the kingdom? We focus on the wrong thing. Right now, at this time, during the pandemic, people are hurting. People are hungry. That's the reason why we say the whole community, anybody that come, we run out, we'll go get some more. Because people are suffering. This is a good time for you to be witnessing to somebody. We should be witnessing every day we get the opportunity to tell somebody that Jesus is Lord. We need to tell them that Jesus is Lord. And if they don't accept it, shake the dust off your feet and walk away. This is the time. This is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Ask them to lead you. Ask them to guide you. Ask them to direct your path. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. If you want your home taken care of, seek God first. If you, if you want your kids taken care of, seek God first. If you want a job, seek God first. Seek him first. Seek him. Says, not for you to know, but in the Father's hand, even Jesus don't know. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got that. I got that. I got to go to it then. Let's go to Mark 13 and 32. <laughs> I got that. And, and you're supposed to do that. If you don't know, you don't supposed to agree. See, see, some people oh, say amen. You don't hear me saying they say amen a lot because. The Bible says you say amen when you agree. So, people used to get mad when I didn't say amen. I, didn't, I wasn't against them. I wasn't saying it was, wasn't right. I just didn't know. I just, was, I just didn't know. So, I had to go study it. I had to go find out for myself. For I can say amen. I don't mind. I, I, don't, I don't mind. I don't mind. But, you know, I don't want them to go over your head. So, let's go to Mark 13 and 32. That but of that day and that hour, no man know, no, not even the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Who is the Son? See, he don't know. Now, he, naturally, I'm believing that he said on earth, while he's man in God, he didn't know. When he's in heaven, he's all God. But the Bible says even the, even the son don't know. Even the son didn't know. I'm just talking about the word. We got to teach the word. Let the word speak. Let the word speak and you'll hear God. If you let the word speak, you'll hear God. If you let the word speak, you'll hear God. If you want to hear God, let the word speak. If you want to hear God, let the word speak. If you want to hear God, let the word speak. You want to hear man, then listen to man. Don't get mad at me if I teach you truth. Because the Holy Spirit comes to teach truth. Teach God's truth. Teach God's truth. And the only way you're going to teach God's truth, you got to teach the word. Amen. Bible said don't add, don't, don't try to get me in trouble. Bible said don't add nothing to it. Yeah. Not take anything away from it. Yeah. Don't add nothing to this word. Amen. You're not taking anything away. Because if you do, you'll bring upon yourself 
damnation. We got to know the word. You bring upon yourself damnation. I'm teaching you so that you can teach the truth. God's truth. Not my truth. God's truth. I ain't got no truth. Too scared to tell the truth. I'm talking about in the flesh. I did something wrong. Y'all know when we did something wrong. Teacher, even mom and daddy. We didn't tell the truth. We told a lie so we can get out of it. We were too scared to tell the truth. I wasn't able to tell the truth to the Holy Spirit filled my soul. In the flesh, I wasn't strong enough to tell the truth. Uh, parents, parents. I, see, we don't understand kids. You get mad at kids because they don't tell the truth. Well, you should tell them tell the truth. Make them tell the truth. Give them that whooping and maybe they may tell the truth next time. But they ain't going to tell the truth. I used to tell my wife. I used to tell my wife even this. I say, when, when Latar's friends come around, I say, we, 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 we might leave this around, leave that around. I say, and I used to have all kind of, kind of jewelry and everything, and I gave them all away. But uh, I used to have all kind of, I said, let me ha put this jewelry up because I don't want to tempt them to take it. They're just kids. I wasn't talking about talking about them or put them down. I said, right there. I said we're going to put this up because we don't want them to want to tempt them to take it. When I was a kid, I, what, I thought like a kid. I thought like a kid. When I become a man, I put away childish things. Oh, he took that, he, he took that hundred dollar bill. What you doing with a hundred dollar bill laying around with these kids in here? Some grown folks gonna take that. I mean, more or less kids. So so we gotta have wisdom. That's the reason why I said I got the I I got the gift of wisdom. So they come around, we put it up. Put it up. Because we didn't want to tempt them. Not saying that they would have done it. But I want to be surprised. Especially when you got two or three of them and you don't know which one of them did it. So, 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 again, we got to use wisdom. Got to use wisdom. Dispensation of the Holy Spirit. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know. The season which the Father has put in his own hand. That's God's business. Verse Verse 8, but ye shall receive power. That's what you need to know. You shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be, oh, glory, hallelujah. You're going to receive this power not to lay hands on nobody. You're going to receive this power not to speak in tongues. You're going to receive this power to be my witnesses. When we're going to understand the purpose of God is to teach us so we can go out and tell a dying world that the wages of sin is still death. And the gift of, of God is eternal life. He's going to give you power. See, it's hard to be God's witness. It's hard to tell mama she's wrong. It's hard to tell daddy he's wrong. But that's what he was saying. See, y'all got it wrong when he said, I'm going to put daughter against mother. Father against son. What he was talking about when it comes to God's truth, I'm going to tell the truth whether mama like it. I'm going to tell the truth whether daddy like it. I'm going to tell the truth whether you like it, Antioch. He's going to give you power. He gave me power to speak truth, whether you like it or not. He said he's he going to give you power to be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. Good God Almighty, I'm going to give you power. I'm going to give you power. Just tear it here and wait on the Holy Spirit. You can't do it without the Holy Spirit. You can't do it without the Holy Spirit. You can't do it without the power. Good God Almighty. We can't do it without the power. He said, I'm going to give you this power. Good God Almighty. I'm going to give you this power. To be 
able to witness. I want I want I want I want to dig into that. To witness all of our job is to witness. It, it's to witness. It, it's to witness. Verse 9. And when he had spoken these things while they beheld, he was taken up in a cloud, received him out of their sight. And remember, he was taken up after he'd spoken the word. And a cloud received him out of their sight. A cloud received him. They see him going up in a cloud. And watch, and while they looked that fast toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. They, they stood by them. Mm. They, they stood by them in white apparel. Mm. Have your way, Holy Spirit. They, they stood by him, by, by the disciples, and in white apparel, and said as a close, which said also, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? What he was saying, you, he already told you he was going to go up. Come on, sir. Yes, sir. He already told you he was going to go up. Yeah. And he told you he's not going to leave you comfortless. Mm -hmm. He's going to be the father, he's going to be with the father. But he's going to send you a comfort. Yeah. Why are you gazing? They're gazing like, oh, we don't have no more hope. Our hope is gone. Why are you gazing up? Yes, Just wait on the promise. Yeah. Says. Yes, Why are you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye seen him go into heaven. That the same Jesus, he's coming back again. Amen. He's coming back again. Revelation 1 and 7 says, Every eye, good God Almighty, that behold, he come with a cloud. The same way he went up, yes, Revelation 1 and 7 tell you, behold, he come back with that same cloud. He's going to come back in a cloud. Just like you see him going up in a cloud. You're going to see him coming back in it, and every eye going to behold him. Every eye going to see him. Good God Almighty. Imagine that. Imagine that. You're not born again. You haven't been washed in the blood of the Lamb. And you're going to see the saints going up. Every eye. Gabriel, going to sound the trumpet. Good God Almighty. And the dead in Christ, going to rise first. People going to see their loved ones. They died, if it's us today, on the other day, some 30, maybe 100 years ago, they're going to see their loved ones. Going up. And we that's been born again, the importance of being born again. We that have been washed in the blood of the Lamb shall be caught up together to meet Him in the air. The Bible says we're going to be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Yeah, the dead in Christ going to rise first. Yeah. And we that remain, that have been washed in the blood of the Lamb, that have been Holy Ghost filled, going to be caught up in the air to meet him. Yeah. And so shall we be with him even unto eternity. Yeah. Oh, we got a reason to give God glory. Yeah. We got a reason to give God praise. Because we win. He didn't call me 
to operate like nobody else. Called, called me to be strong and courageous. Yes. That's what he called me to do. He called me to teach his word. Yes. No time to be playing. Amen. We're in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. This is the last dispensation. We had the dispensation of God, Christ, Holy Spirit. There won't be another. There won't be another. Won't be another. But it's enough. God is so good. His love is so great that he sent his only son. Then left us with the Holy Spirit. Glory, hallelujah. And you can come to Jesus. Let us stand. Just as you are. Because we're living in the last days. The dispensation of the Holy Spirit let us know that we're living in the last days. Something special, supernatural. We have everything we need to be saved. About your name, God the Father has already sent Jesus Christ to die for the sins of the world. Jesus our Savior has already died for the sins of the world. He's already rose and he's sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. The Holy Spirit is here. He's here to lead us. He's here to guide us into our truth. He's here to empower us. To be able to stand strong in the power of his might. And because Jesus has already rose from the grave, you can come just as you are and be saved. He said, whosoever will, let him come. Will you come? Will you come to Jesus just as you are? Maybe somebody on YouTube. And you know we are living in the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. In these last days. And you don't want to be left behind. All you need to do Jesus, Jesus, say, Lord, Jesus, I repent of my sins. I believe that you died. I believe that God raised you from the dead. Come into my heart. Save me. And he'll save you. Right in the living room. You may be frying chicken and, and, and listening to this word. He'll save you even in the midst. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Something happens. Something happens. When I call you. Say that now. Oh, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus, at the mention of your name. Anybody ever called Jesus, and something happened? Jesus, Demons yeah. tremble at the mention of your name. When I call you. When I call you. When I call you. When I call you. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Glory, hallelujah. Something happened. Something Yeah, when I call you. Somebody call. I feel better when I call you. Somebody call on the name of Jesus. I feel better when I call you. Right now, Jesus, 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 call Oh, you can call him right now. Jesus, 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 yeah! Glory to God. When I call you, 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 I call you, I call you Peace in my mind like you can. Nobody, nobody, nobody. nobody. Glory, hallelujah. Nobody greater than Nobody. you. Nobody. Nobody greater than you. Magnify him. Nobody He's greater than you. Nobody. When I call you. I tried you for my mother. Right now. I tried you for my father. Yeah. yeah. When I call I can't find nobody greater than you. Right now. Yeah. When I call you. Say Jesus, Jesus, Glory, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, Glory, hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Glory, hallelujah. Something happens when I call hallelujah. you, oh Jesus, 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 Jesus. I can lay all my burdens down. Jesus, Jesus, say that now. I can cast all Thank my you, cares upon Thank you. you. Yes, Lord. I can. Something happens, Something happens when I call when you. I call Deliverance you. takes place when I call Glory, you. Hallelujah. When I call Deliverance you. Deliverance takes place when I call you. When I call you. Yeah, something happens. Something happens when I call you. Hallelujah. 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 Something happens when I call you. Glory, hallelujah. 
Uh, Sister Daniel's coming for by rededication. Amen. Ain't God good? See, we can't get that. We can't get that just on YouTube. Maybe somebody coming, but we, we, we don't know if they're coming. Yeah. But by being here in worship service, we see Sister Daniels coming by rededication. Oh, to God be the glory. That's why we have to be in the house of God. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Sister Daniels, I'm going to have the ministers, staff come and take you back. And we are so thankful that you come to us, come to Antioch. And we want to be a part of what God is doing up on this hill by rededication. Truly, we are blessed. For you, the first one that came since this pandemic. God is still on the throne, church. He's still saving. He's still bringing his people back home. That's why we give him glory. Just keep on watching and see God. He's going to do some things He's going to do some things, no like some incredible things, yes, Lord. some no mighty things, like just to let the world know that he's still oh, 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 on the throne. No Father, once again, we come to you in the name of Jesus, just saying thank you. We thank you, Lord, for being God and God all by yourself. We thank you, Lord, for leaving us the Holy Spirit and not leaving us comfortless, but leaving us the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us and direct us into all truth. We love you, Lord, and praise you. As you bless us now, we'll go to our various destinations, and we'll be careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and certainly all the praise. That's your blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. You 